Previously on the bill. How can I ever tell Cameron? They'd destroy him. They would destroy any man. Gabby, what are you talking about? What's happened? I am so sorry, mate. Word around the station is that Kerry's been raped by Smithy. I'm not sure he's the right person to be in charge. Mind your bags. Yeah, the Super and Inspector Golden at Bramshill, he's the acting duty officer. Yeah, I know I meant. Well, I meant with all the rumours that are going around. And what rumours would they be? Smithy and Kerry. Yeah, well, there's always rumours in a neck. It's best not to be caught spreading on. Units from Sierra Oscar, West Key Road. A serious PI accident involving lorry and two cars. Sierra Oscar from 943, I can attend. Dunbar. Make your way to the backyard. I'm going to sort out a van to take you and the others down there. I want you to find out where Cameron is. He wasn't in the briefing and he hasn't phoned in. Have you heard from him? I haven't seen him. I'll give him a call. Right, and then make your way to the RTA. I wish Cameron's not in. And that he doesn't know what people are saying about him or he's got a hate of a rhino. Like I said, best to keep those thoughts to yourself, yeah? Down there, a green car on its roof, down the slip road. Stay with your vehicle, please. Someone will yeah. be with you shortly. Check on the calls of the ambulance. Yeah. Alright, okay. Gary, what's yeah. going on? There's a guy trapped in a car and it's flipped over there. You alright? I'm safe, mate, safe. Is he okay? Yeah, he's yeah, okay. okay. You you just tell me what's in the barrel. Look at him, Stay with him, I'll sort cutting gear. Sir, it's the police. Can you hear me? Who's that? Where am I? You've been in an accident, sir, but you're gonna be alright. I can't move. Can you tell me your name? I don't know. What did you say? What's your name? Vickers. Abe Vickers. Okay, Abe, good. Can you remember what happened? I was overtaking the truck. I can't... Oh, God, my legs! Why can't I move? Try and keep still, okay? I know it's hard, but the help is going to be here soon. Oh, quick, please, quick, it hurts. Let's get her away from the car. Come on, definitely does it, Joe. Come on, nice and easy. All right, Mum. All right, Jen. You all right, love? Yeah. Get yourself down. Take it slowly, Mum. That's all right. I mean, he was a madman. He cut me off. Just a minute, yeah. Look, the driver says it's some sort of chemical waste in solvent. It's highly corrosive. Dave, everyone should try not to inhale the fumes. Stay at wind until we hear from a hazmat officer. Please, please, this is not my fault. It is. We just keep calm, calm, please. Just keep calm. Yeah, we're gonna have to make sure that you're not injured. Okay, yeah? but, but just stay there, please. Okay, okay. I mean, I will. I will. Oh, is she all right? It's my mother. I just braked and I saw her head hit. Right, have you got a name? Got a name? Uh, Joan. Joan. She seemed all right, but now I don't know. Hey, Joan. She's gone a bit Joan, can you hear me, love? Yeah. Hey, Mum. Look, did either of you two get splashed by what was coming out of that truck? Oh, no. no, no, I don't. No. Gary! Right! Look, can you just stay here where it's safe? Yeah, there's going to be an ambulance on its way. You're going to be all right, look. All right, thank you. Where are you? You're still there? Yeah, hey, I'm still here. Don't worry. What's your name? PC Young, Kerry. I'm pretty scared, Kerry. I can't see a thing. Just that smell. Or is it petrol? You won't let me burn in here, will you, Kerry? Promise me. No, Aid, I'm not going to let you burn, I promise. Look, just hang on in there, OK? The firefighter's going to be here in just a minute. They're going to cut you out. Any sign of the ambulance? Still stuck in traffic, thanks to the rubber neck, as it's bumped at a bumper as far back as Randolph Lane. No one can get on the carriageway. He needs help now. He's bleeding heavily. We haven't got much time. Well, from Sierra Oscar. Are you free to speak? Sierra Oscar, go ahead. Real car check. Vehicle reported stolen four days ago. Ball received. Do you hear that? Stolen vehicle overtaken on a slip road. Where was he going in such a hurry? Oh, well, at least there's some help. They can deal with that lot up there. What's the latest on this RTO? Fire Brigade now on scene. They're making safe with foam. We're getting the slipway closed off and diverting traffic via Packet Street and Bream Lane. Have we informed the Environment Department about the spillage? The Fire Brigade chemical officer speaking to. One thing is for sure, 
It's going to be total calm getting out of here. Aren't you a comedian? Not the best day to be a duty officer, Sarge. Mm, tell me about it. What are they doing? What's that noise? They're cutting you out. Be quick, he's losing a lot of blood. I know, love. Sorry, I'll need you yeah. to... Yeah. Aid, it's all right. I'm just here. Please be quick. Terry. Are you okay? No. Terry. Come here. Gabriel, not now. No, I had to tell Cameron that Smithy raped you. You what? You promised you wouldn't tell anybody. I had no choice. There's been a rumour going around the relief. Is there, is there why he kept on the drink laughing? What, what did he say? What no, did you no, tell him? I don't him? know who else you told, but obviously they couldn't keep their mouths shut. I thought we deserved to hear it from a friend. Does Smithy know? I don't know. Okay. Look, I better sort that out. I'm sorry. Where you been? You missed the briefing. Didn't you get my message? Yeah. Everything all right? Let's just get to this RTA. It sounds like a mess. Fine, I was just checking, that's all. Have you heard any rumours about Smithy and Kerry? Smithy and Kerry? What do you mean? Nothing. Let's go. You see my paper, you it's not. okay. You're a maniac! Why did you do that? Why did you stop that? Look at the state of this I place! I didn't do anything! You What's the problem with you, you woman? Do? What were you thinking? I didn't do anything! How did you think I was done it? Typical bloke, Stay you away. did not Take give him an inch! Calm down, sir. Calm down. down. Sir, sir, calm down. down. Just goes to stop there. No warning. Step away, madam, now. My brother could have been killed. Thank you. What else I can do, sir? What is it? Step away. Um, she was all right and now she's just coming. Straighten her legs. Come on, love. Huh? Oh. Come on. Straighten that one. What's there her name? Go. Her name's Joan. Joan. Joan, love. What's happening to her? Is it her head? I'm Get an ambulance, will you? I'm telling her to wear the seatbelt. We have the same argument every time she gets in the car. So will you please just wait in the car? It's just down there. It's the green car. Be careful when you go past the lorry. It's chemical waste. It's going to be toxic. There. Is Kerry here? Yes, yeah, she's just down there by the green car, but we could only use a hand to your car. We couldn't get through the traffic's back, so they should have just parachuted us in. Excuse me. Sir, I've told you before. Wait up! Please, keep talking, keep talking. please help her. The ambulance was supposed to be here ages ago. Mum. There we go, she's breathing. Good girl. Good girl, Joan. Where's that ambulance? Thank you, thank you very much. Good girl, love. You're all right now. You're going to be all right. Kerry, don't leave me. Right, They're here now, all right? They're here now. Right, paramedic, here to help you. All right, I'm just going to check you out quickly. My friend's down the end, OK? I can't film my That's all right. We've got to get a move on. He needs some help quickly. Yeah, I know. Kerry! Lovely. Thank you. I'm going to get a drip. I'm going to have to arrest him. Possession of a firearm and driving a stolen vehicle. He's tachycardic. Move him that distance to the ambulance. He's dangerous. OK, look, Gary, give us that. Arresting him can wait. I don't think he's going anywhere in that condition. Get CID to meet him at the hospital, all right? I'll get the ambulance moved closer. Kerry. Can we wait? Questions. Tell me it's not true that Smithy raped you. Kerry, please, I need to know. Hello, Mr. Vickers. Yeah, he went into shock in the ambulance. He's going straight into recess. Uh, and his name isn't Vickers, it's Adrian Collins. There's two changes of clothes in this bag. Listen, do you think maybe he was on a job? Well, it would explain his driving. I'll tell you what, I'll, uh, I'll get uh, Rob to run this with Crimmick. OK. All right, Kerry, fill me in. If he was on a job, we're going to need some details. This is mental. We've got total gridlock across half the subdivision. We've got cars even taking shortcuts from private property. Sarge, I've got a central station holdout of alarm suspected robbery now at National Equity Bank, Malham Street. Oh, that's all we need. Most people tied up in the RTA. Right, OK, I want SO19 and the area car down to the bank now. Get onto the traffic division and tell them to take over at the RTA and all available officers head down to the bank, tell them that I'm going to meet them there. And you better get onto Brams Hill and inform the super and Inspector Gold that confidence or not, we might need them back here. OK, Stable. You can have two minutes with him, but please don't agitate him. I 
found your gun, Mr. Collins. That is your name, isn't it? Adrian Collins. Gun? What gun? The one in your hold or in your car. Along with this. And don't give me any flannel about popping down to the supermarket for tea bags, okay? Terry. What are you talking about? Yes, you do, Adrian. And this is your last chance to cooperate, so I'd take it if I were you. Where's Kerry? I want to see Kerry. I'm here. I'm here. Do you know what I think? I think you're part of an armed robbery. Unless you want to tell me you're a hitman or a job. Oh, I don't know what you mean. I can't say what I don't know. Excuse me. Terry. I don't think he's up to this yet, right? Let me speak to him. I've already made a connection with him. Okay. I'll wait outside. Terry, I just got off the phone to Rob. There's a central station hold up alarm at the National Equity Bank. That's what, half a mile from the RTA? Yeah, which means that Collins could have been on his way there until he met the truck. T, skinny latte. Has Collins got form? Well, you know, some old convictions, mostly for car theft and bringing. Nothing recent and certainly nothing for robbery. Just Who are his mates? Oh, various known associates. The heaviest of which are a pair called uh, Trevor Willits and Vic Jones. Just released from Shadwell after doing four years for serious assault. Oh. So if Willits or Jones are in the bank, mm. that's a serious step up to armed robbery, eh? Well, maybe they learnt some new tricks inside. But if Collins was armed, whoever's in the bank could be armed. We better warn Cad. Sarah's from 595. I'm at the National Equity Bank now. Seems quiet. Go and check inside. Stay your dog! Stay back! 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 Stay he should be here! He should be here! Sarah Roscoe, 595. National Equity Bank, Malham Street. Confirmed. Armed robbery. Now! All units, Sarah Roscoe, the National Equity Bank. Confirmed armed robbery. SA19 on route. Sergeant Smith will meet you there. Over. Sarah Roscoe from 149. All received. Traffic of arrival. We're on our way. My wife back to the car. Suggest you use Wells Avenue by Raven Street, Gary. Traffic's not too bad that way. That's good. Oh, thanks very much. Cheers. College is closed for forensics. Oi. Oh, right. No, it must be you, mate. No, oh, I switched off. Wait, wait, don't answer it. Don't go into this one. Hello. How are you feeling? Pretty bad. Thanks for before. You've had a very lucky escape, you know that, don't you? Oh, no. So what happens now? Well, that's up to you. There's a robbery in progress at the National Equity Bank. Do you know anything about it? Where are we going with the gun, Adrian? Okay, if you want to help yourself, I suggest you speak up now. Any message? Mail voice, London accent. What do you say? Aid. The police are outside the bank. Where are you? Hmm. Let's call him back. I know it's a long shot, but we just have to hope it's either Trevor Willits or Vic Jones. Thing is, who will we be speaking to? Willits or Jones? Let's consult the Oracle. Good idea. Heads, call Trevor Willits. Tails, it's Vic Jones. Heads. Heads. Willits. Willits. 
Okay. Trev, it's Aid. Where are you? Where? He hung up. Trevor Willits. He's in the bank. Let's get Kerry to confirm it with Collins. Then we'll call it in. Let Smithy know. Okay. They're still inside. Yeah, as far as we know. What's the situation? Totally. Don't do anything right. stupid. One okay? suspect was seen locked himself in the bank. Don't know many people in there. And you actually saw the weapon? Sorry, in fact, poked it up my nose. Looked like some kind of self-loading pistol. Right. Okay, we need to get these people out of here. You can do that. Thank you. Goodbye. Right, Tony, I want you as communications officer. I want you to take a vehicle and set up a rendezvous point. I want an ETA on armed response and ambulances, and then I want you to find out exactly who's inside the bank. Now, I need somebody to stay close by and keep an incident log. Any volunteers? I'll do it. No, it's okay. I'll do Too it. Too late. Okay, all you need to do is stay close and record everything that happens, all right? Jeez, talk now. Go and help out with moving the people. Right, um... The rest of you, I want you to set up a two-phase cordon. I want the inner cordon at this corner, so that we keep the frontage and line of sight clear. Is that understood? Then get on with it. Thank you. Right, come in. And someone get a statement from the lady at the cash machine. Gary, Andrea, push people back and help set up the cordons. What? Come on, Adrian. There's an armed siege at the bank. Were you supposed to be there? That would be really clever telling you that. Think about it. All we have on you is illegal possession of a firearm. It wasn't mine. If you're involved, they will stick you with conspiracy to commit armed robbery. If you help us, the right people will get to know. I don't know what you're going on about. Which could help you in court. Look, I didn't want any of this. I've got a wife, a steady job and a mortgage now. This was just a favour. He said I owed him. Who said? Trevor Willits. Is he the one in charge? How many others are involved? Kill me. You don't know. He's a total psycho. Sarah Oscar 595 receiving. Go ahead, 595. Dean, I need you to phone the bank, see if you can make contact, over. 595, I'm already on it, but there's no direct line. I called head office and they put me on hold. I'm stuck in the automated menu system, over. Yeah, receiver, keep trying, yeah? We need to know how many people he's got in there and just what this guy's up to. And can you find out where SO19 are? We're practically naked out here. This is going to be interesting. What is? Cameron Smithy. What about him? You spreading rumours? No. Although people have a right to know what the sergeant is capable of. What do you mean capable of? Words going around how Smithy got Kerry drunk, then raped her. No. Look, I know Smithy and I know for a fact he won't do anything like that. Yeah, well please yourself. But back my words, there's going to be trouble here today. Get back, please! Yeah, but if someone's spreading lies, it's got to be. Yeah, but it's not the sort of thing you make up, is it, eh? Listen to me. And if someone's covering their tracks, that is. Well, think about it. Why hasn't Kerry slept with her son out there, eh? Well, me for what? Smith, we know what's being said. Don't think so. And he's been accused of rape and someone's got to tell him I'm going to go... Yeah, but it's hardly the time and place, is yeah. it? You best stay well out there, mate. Right, move back, please. Move back, please, for your own safety. You can't get through this way. Uh... You know, don't you? But when I asked you this morning, you denied it. I'm sorry, Kerry made me promise. Really? Then how come everyone else knows? Please, come on, for your own safety. Thank you. Thank you. Smitty, it's Terry. Yeah, 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 we're still at the hospital. Listen, we think we might know one of the suspects. A geezer called Trevor Willits. Extremely violent, by all accounts. No, nothing yet on who he's working with. Tell him about the clothes. Oh, yeah. Collins was found with two sets of clothes, but he's refusing to say anything. We're going to go back to the Nick, see if we can get a picture of Willits. We'll check the street cameras. Yeah, and we're also going to check the street cameras, see if they come up with anything. Yeah. Yeah, all right, mate. Yeah, cheers. Bye. Cheers, Terry. Right. CRD reckon that the guy inside the bank is Trevor Willits, right there, Dad. 
And did you make a note of the previous call, 1036? I asked for SO19 dogs, TSG and a helicopter, yeah? You like being in control, don't you, Sarge? No, not really. Sierra Oscar from 5-4. Any contact from the bank yet? 54, no contact. We think the line's been cut. OK, well, try once more, and if you still haven't got anything, I'll try a voice contact. Received. You sure you know what you're doing? I mean, it's easy to misread the signs. What are you talking about? Don't play dumb. I know about you and Kerry. I know how you raped her. Don't, Kevin, don't be ridiculous. Don't try and deny it. You told me at the pub the other night that you thought she was a slap, but you oh, said she had half the station. Shh, shh. Whatever Kerry's saying, that is not what happened. I'm not a rapist. I suppose you think when a girl like that says no, it doesn't count. Listen to me, Kevin. I admit that we slept together, okay? We had the drink, right? She came back home with me. I'm not exactly proud of what happened, but I didn't force her. What do you mean she came back home with you? I'm gonna kill you, my briefly tight. I'm seriously warning you. Now, we have got an armed siege with hostages. Now, get on with the job in hand, you understand me? You will not get away with this. Okay, freeze it there. All right, we've ID'd in, but look, guy in blue walks past, empty. One guy, uh, I don't understand, where are the others? You don't do a bang job on your own, do you? Maybe the others went in earlier. Oh, yeah, right. At least we now know it's Willits. Mm. Come on. 54 from Sierra Oscar. 5 4, go ahead. 54, they're still not answering the phone inside the bank. We've got SO19 stuck in traffic. The broad lane gyratory system's gridlocked. They can't get the van through. The governor's on his way back to London, but I've got no ETA. Received. Well, we can't stand around and wait. I'm going to try and make a voice contact. Inside the bank. This is the police. I'm Sergeant Smith. Will you talk to me? Is everyone all right? Ladybird, ladybird, fly away home. Your house is burnt down and your children have gone. Well, well, well. So glad you could join us. See, we're having a bit of a party in here. Don't you try anything. We've got hostages. Women and kids. No one's going to try anything. I just need to know everyone's OK. Well, just shut up and listen, all right? I want a car with a full tank of petrol. And you've got four minutes. I need more than four minutes. I've got to speak to senior officers. Senior officers? Do you need to see blood before you start taking me seriously? Well, do ya? Bye bye then. See ya. Toodaloo. We know that Trevor's in the bank, so it's pointless holding out on us now. Who else is in there with him? Is it Vic Jones? Come on, Collins. There's other people in that bank. There's lives at stake here. We also know that you and Willits have history. That on your last outing, Willits drew four years and you walked. So what? Is that why you're protecting him? Because you feel guilty? Look, I thought I'd made a fresh start. Good woman, new job. Then out comes Trevor. Angie didn't like him. What could I do? He said he had a job for me, all debts repaid. You didn't have to listen to him. You could have walked away. He said I owed him big time. And I should stop taking orders from Angie. If I didn't shut her up, he'd do it for me. He was threatening your wife. You should have gone to the police. Is that what you would have done? Psycho like Trevor Willits. And I'm not the one facing years in prison. I don't know anything, all right? It was just a getaway driver, that's all. He didn't tell me a thing. It was strictly need to know. Come on. Who else is in there with him? You were found with two sets of clothes. With him? 
Well, there's no one else with him. Trevor's doing this all on his own. Look, I'll talk to Kerry when we get back and we can sort this whole thing out. Sarge, save it. I don't want to hear it. Like you said, let's just focus on our jobs. All right, four minutes is up. You plan to just sit here until they start chucking bodies out? That's enough out of you. You wait here. Do you believe him? Gut instinct, I think he's telling the truth. Look, I still don't get why the step up to using arms, OK? I mean, according to his record, Willits was only ever minor league. Well, maybe it's a bid for respect. Maybe he wanted to be noticed. Listen, we should uh, check out his last known address, yeah? See if we can come up with something that Smithy can negotiate with. Agreed. Kerry, I'm going to take you back to the bank. Well, surely I should stay with Collins. No, he did a good job. All hands are needed down there. This is Sergeant Smith. Please, can you come outside? I need to talk to you. What's Smithy doing now? Four minutes is up. If he lets it pass without making any contact, the suspect could get nervous, feel like they're losing control. Then anything could happen. What do you mean by anything? Shoot hostage. Yeah, there are one of us. But Smithy's out there unprotected. He could get killed at any minute. That's what makes him a cop, he is. No one forces him. He just knows it's got to be done. Sound like a rapist to you. <coughs> Time's up, ladies and gents. Where's the car? No, I'm sorry, Trevor, but I told you I needed more time. You just called me Trevor. Now what's all that about? You are Trevor Willits, though, aren't you? <sighs> See, we picked up your mate. Adrian Collins. He's in St Hughes. He's had a bit of a smash with your car. Phil Collins. Adrian Collins. 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 Oh, Collins! I don't know who you're talking about, mate. I need proof that, that everybody's OK in there. And then you can have your car. I mean, you can understand that, can't you, surely? Don't mess me about, OK? I know how this works. How you're trying to stall and wear me down. Well, I'm through screwing around. I'm going to show you just how serious I am. Yeah, all right, look. Oh, no, what's happening? Steady on, Smith is going to deal with it. Hickory dickory dock, the mouse run up the clock. The clock struck one, the mouse run down. Hickory dickory dock, bang. OK? Who's in control now, eh? Give me that car! Smile. Come on, give us a smile. You're on candy camera. <laughs> Come on, Cutma. You can smile for us. So that's all, yeah? Yeah, that's all I know. Well, thanks very Sorry much. About Cheers. Any luck? Well, the neighbour says that he and the wife separated over a year ago whilst Willits was still in prison. Two months after he came out, the house was repossessed. Can't talk about one bad break after another. Yeah, certainly enough to tip you over the edge, isn't it? And how'd you get your self respect back? Bit of armed robbery. Bit of armed robbery. Yeah. You got a current address on him? No, but the wife, or should I say the ex-wife, still lives in the area. She and the kids have moved in with a new boyfriend. You're joking. Okay, look who's back. No, oh, that's all we need. The place is already a pressure cooker. Kerry, I didn't know you were back. Well, thank you for shooting your mouth off about Smithy. You what? Don't play the innocent, Yvonne, all right? I trusted you, and you've gone and told everybody. Wait a minute, that wasn't me. You think you're being clever? Is that it? What? Force my hand so I'd have to report it and do the right thing? Look, I said I wouldn't tell anyone, but if you've been whispering to others, I can't be responsible for the words getting out. That's supposed to mean. But only that most of the relief seems to know about it. Yeah, because you can keep your big mouth shut. Kerry, you're not listening to me. I said I didn't tell anyone. Shut up. Take that notice of them. Remember, you've done nothing wrong. It's not them I'm worried about. You spoke to Cameron yet? Where is it? Is it in accord with Smithy? I've told him. Please, let her be. No, no, don't, don't, don't shoot! Up. Put your arms up! Lay down on the don't floor! Shoot. Lay put down on the floor! He put a bomb on me! He put a bomb on me! Please help me.
Julie Willits. Who are you? DC Drummond, DC Perkins, Sun Hill. Uh, we'd like to have a word about Trevor. Do you mind if we come in? Why? What for? What's he done? He's only just got out of prison. He's involved in an incident at a bank on Mallon Street. Which bank? National Equity. Oh, my God. Stay where you are! Please. Right, now! Can you tell me your name? James, James Cooper. Okay, that's good, James. Now, what I want you to do for me is stay calm. Please, just, just get off me. Just get off me. We can do that, but Please. you have to stay calm. Julie, if you know anything can help us, I suggest you tell us now. It's James. What? what? Who's James? James is my new partner. This is his house. Don't look like that. You don't know what it's like trying to raise kids with someone who's always on the take. I had to get out for all our sakes. Sorry, I, I don't understand. Are you telling us that James is involved in this? <laughs> James is the manager of the National Equity Bank. It's James who had our house repossessed. What's this about a bomb? I thought this was meant to be a bomb. All the way back, right. The bomb squad have been called, but Smithy says he wants the cordon and vehicles pushed back and all radios and mobile phones switched off. Why switched off? Because if it is an explosive, a radio signal could trigger it like that. This is about revenge. Mm. I mean, he's repossessed the house, he's taken his woman. Maybe Trevor's after James. Mm. Could be. Will you stop muttering? Look, we have units specially trained for this type of thing. I'm sure James is going to be okay. Trevor's capable of anything. Trev's been full of it since he came out of prison. All the people he's met, all the things he's learned. What type of things? <sighs> he didn't say. Load of rubbish, probably. He's always trying to build himself up. You know, playing the big I am. Trevor caused you any problems since he's been out? Nothing we couldn't handle. James has protected me and the kids. Kept Trev well away. He's such a loser. James made me see that. Oh, my God. What's Trev going to do to him? OK, James, look, you're doing really well. Just, but I need to know to exactly what he said about the device. What was inside it, whether it had a timer. Uh, Ginny, uh, we'll get a police officer to come and sit with you. What, what do you mean, sit with me? I'm coming with you. No, no, you stay here. We'll make sure people keep you up to date. No. No way. You're going to take me there now. I am not staying here. Anyway, I can help. If anyone could talk Trev out of the bank, I can. No, 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 no. Absolutely no way. No. no. Stay here, please. You just you told me not to touch it. We're trying to take it off. It was something about a mercury something. Something, I, I don't... A mercury tilt switch? Yes. He said that if I, if I, if I trip up or if I, if I... Oh, God, please. If I bend over, he's going to send it off. And he, he showed me a, a, he's got a control, he's got a control thing, he's just said you push the button unless I give you this message. Listen, I've got, I've got to give you a message. Okay, James, look, you're doing really well, you're staying calm. What's the message? You've got until 11, you've got until, you've got until 11.20 to get the car here. We'll set the bomb off. wife. Well, why have you brought her down here? Well, believe me, we had no choice. She went mental. She reckons she can get Trevor out of the bank. Where's Smithy? He's down there at the inner cordon. Yeah, well, get hold of him. Tell him we've got Willett's wife and tell him it's not what we thought. It's not what we thought either. What? Tell me what's going on. Where the hell is SO19? I'm going to have to give Willett's the car. Sarge. What are you doing here? CID, they've brought Willits' wife down here. They need to talk. Come on. I need someone to isolate the bomb until bomb disposal get here. I'll do it. No, Kerry, it's too dangerous. Well, not as dangerous as leaving him here, it's not. Well, someone, please, just tell me what's happening. Yeah, OK, James, just stay calm. We're sorting it out for you now, OK? I said I'll do it. Kerry, don't. It's my decision. What I want you to do is take him round to the car park and stay there. 
I'll have a car driven round there for you. You put him on one side, you on the other. You use the engine as a block, okay? And, uh, I raped you, did I? Oh, God. Time, time's running out. Please hurry! Please! I can't! James! What I want you to do is listen to this officer very carefully and do exactly as she tells you, okay? Yeah. Gabriel. Get a panda and take it round to the car park. Sarge. James, my name's Kerry, okay? Now when we move, I want you to walk very slowly in front of me. Just keep calm, I'm gonna be right behind you. Keep your arms out, James. Don't touch the device. Excuse me. Excuse me. No, 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 no. You never told me it was a problem. Let me. We don't. Know, no. we... I don't. I don't want to kneel. I know. Just stay there, James. Trust me. You shouldn't have to do this. Well, who else is there? Get back to the cord, and I'll be fine. Dad, why are we here? I don't understand why we're here. Look, what are James, we doing here? James, listen to me. Okay. Until the bomb squad get here, we don't know if that is a bomb. But if it is, we have to keep you away from other people. Okay? Oh, God. <sighs> she should not be there. She volunteered. Cameron. Wait! Time's up! Where's Mr. Bank Manager? Um, he's still here. We've just moved him round the corner. Oh, you moved him round the corner. Brilliant. It don't matter, does it? I've got one of these. So what's it gonna be? Do I get the motor, or do I blow the guy in half? Here, should we toss for it? Motor, blow the guy in half. You haven't got to do that! Motor, blow the guy in half. Can you just stop doing that for us? Eeny, meeny, miny, blow. <laughs> we don't know what's going on! Johnny, get back! Stay calm. Yeah, okay, over you. Where is he? Oh, calm down, calm down, Mr. Collins. What's he doing here? Hey, just calm Where's down. Where's James? Call the hell is going on. This is Willett's ex-wife. She's now living down. with James Cooper. Trevor! Is that what this is about? You and that scumbag took everything from me. My house, my kids. I was inside, for God's sake. You never give me a chance. I can't stand it anymore, Trevor. I had to get away. I had to give the girls a chance. Listen to me, right? I'm on the now. Trevor! Trevor! Let it go! I'm warning you. You get her out of here. I'm going to push this thing now. She's going. She's gone. Tick. Tock, tick, tock. Got itchy fingers now, boys. Tick, tock. Right, Bob, what's going on? Right, I've stripped it, killed the radio. There's nothing in there that Willits can use. Right, good. Now go down with the corner. What? What? Little SL19 in there. Yeah, I know. Cameron, are you writing this down? And the ambulance is there. Yeah. Gabriel. I want the two of you to take the ambulance back to the corner and get them to stand by. Really glad to see you. Right, what's the situation now? Right, we've got a target in there. I've had to agree to a getaway right, vehicle. Right, 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 right. Willis has produced a detonator. There's a lot of lives in danger. We're going to have to let him go. Right. Where's James now? Well, we've had to isolate him in the car park behind this block. Don't worry, the bomb squad will be here in a minute. I'm sure it's not even real. Please. I have to speak to him. Oh, God. This is all my fault. I'm sorry, Julie, but, but it's just not safe. Can I get you a, a drink or something? Was that Julie? Yeah, James, she's here. Okay, she is here. She's at the cordon. Our officers are with her. I've, I've got to see her. She's going to be terrified. You, I've got to see, you must let me see her. No, James, you've got to keep still. I, I've got to talk to her then. Let, let her know I'm okay. You didn't tell me she was here! James, no. Julie! James, don't! I'm here! Julie! Oh, please. James! 
Jane! <laughs> Don't be afraid, James! We're gonna get through this! <laughs> James! <laughs> it's not real, James! They said so! It's a fake! <laughs> Julia, I, I didn't say Andrea, that. why don't you go and get Julia that drink that you were talking about, yeah? <gasps> I'll stay with her. <laughs> He's panicking. He can set the bomb off. I'm sure Kerry can handle it. Time's up. Let's get Willits out of here. It's just a precaution. Let me talk to Joe, please. No, look, we can't leave. It's, it's much too dangerous, isn't Let it? me talk to Joe. You don't know what about. he's like. You ready? Right. Julie said it was a fake. I mean, you heard her. What, 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 what are we doing? Why are we still here? James, you must keep still, please. Tell me more about Julie. Is everything okay? You're not supposed to be here. I heard shouting. I thought you might need a hand. Well, I said I could handle it. Go away. I can't breathe. It's, it's getting really tight. It's getting really tight around my ribs and I can't try breathe. And take, try and take slow, deep breaths, okay? Try not to panic. Just go away. I will not go away until you tell me exactly what happened between you and Smithy. Trevor! Trevor! Trevor, we've got the car like we agreed! Thanks, Mr. Piggy. That's very nice of you, Mr. Piggy. There better be no tricks, though, Mr. Piggy. Oh, look. Look, all the piggies standing in a row, isn't that sweet? All the little piggies. Now you see, this little piggy went to market. But that little piggy should have stayed at home. You see what I mean? Now move back. I want to check the car. Don't shoot! Don't shoot! Put the gun down! Hold your fire! Why didn't you tell me you've been raped? It's a bomb squad. Breathe. Not long now, James. Keep looking at me. Just keep looking at me. I'm so scared. I don't want to talk. Cameron, we can't talk about this now. <laughs> Why haven't you reported it? Kerry, what am I supposed to think? Why is it taking so long? James, concentrate on me. Not long now, James. I'm handling this my own way. I've done nothing wrong. Except you went home with him. Cam, please. Kerry, tell me what I am supposed to think. Kerry, where are they? Where can I see you? Look, James, just be calm, okay? They're gonna be here in a minute. Cameron, wait, don't go. Everybody move back. Go on, move back! I'm going, I'm going, we're all going. Yeah? Is that what you want? Yeah? Alright. Trevor, you haven't got to do that. Yeah, Trevor, can do you, you want just stop flying that Piggy? about, please? Hey, how about this? Just check the inside of the car, make sure you're not playing any funny games, eh? Do you want some, Mr. Piggy? Do ya? How about this, eh? Where's Cameron? You want to press the button? I haven't seen him. Right, get out of here. Go. Go. Wouldn't want to drop it though, would I? Hey? Got to keep a really close eye on this thing. You don't believe me, do you? You think I made the whole thing up? You won't talk to me. You won't even look at me. How on earth am I supposed to know what to believe? Julie, help me, please! I can't stand it! If you told me that you'd been raped, I would believe you. But what gets me is that you went home with him of your own free will. I can't hold my arms up. Am I right or am I wrong? Kerry. I can't hold my arms up. Well, that says it all, really. God, God. Goodbye. Come on, wait, wait. I can't do it. Yes. 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 Yes, 
Next time on The Bill. Get a paramedic now! Go on! She has been raped! She should never have been given that job! It wasn't pretty, but it certainly wasn't right. And were you too drunk to tell the difference? Does she really think we talk to the press? People do. Yeah, greedy, stupid people.